Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from U.S. Broadcast Distribution. and Today we're talking about the Vaxxis A5. It is this 5-inch monitor here with antennas on it, and it can connect to another A5 or to an Atom 500 or 600 series transmitter or receiver, so it can act as either a transmitter or receiver. This can go on the camera, or this can be off at your production station, being a receiver for your transmitter like we have it set up here. So we're feeding in an SDI signal and it's going into this unit and then we can come out HDMI into a capture device or we can just record directly inside this to a TF card. There are a lot of features so let's take a closer look at what makes this awesome. Most of the interesting stuff happens on the screen here, but let's take a quick tour of the unit. Uh, there are two NPF batteries, so you get a lot of, a lot of juice, a lot of runtime there. Uh, two antennas. Attachable via um, screw mounts there. Three function keys. These are programmable. We'll hit up those later. Uh, HDMI in and HDMI out. If we're setting this up as a transmitter, we put our camera source in there. If we're setting this up as a receiver, we can plug in a monitor or whatever device is there. We can also power this off of a regular 12 volt power supply, quarter 20 mount, um, and then this is the uh, slot for the TF card. And the unit itself. Um, has a number of different functions. It's gonna give you your battery level, uh, what mode it's in, what its antenna strength is, what channel it's on, uh, audio levels. There are a number of different um, functions up here for um, scope and uh, there's also waveform, um, different color uh, settings, um, different uh, focus, focal lengths. We can do uh, zebra to make it um, highlight areas that are in focus. A lot of different functions here, extremely valuable. Um, different uh, color methods. In fact, while we're on talking about color, it also does LUTs. And then uh, the most important part here is the configuration mode. So here is where we set whether it's a TX or an RX. So if it is a TX, um, what we would do is we would plug in our camera, and then we would connect it to our RX, our receiver. It's not what we're doing here. We have it set up as the, um, the transmitter, and it is paired with this unit. And pairing is done uh, over here in the wireless page. And we just go into the unit, we initialize pairing here, and then we hit pairing there, and the two units talk, and they eventually negotiate a channel. In this case, they've decided seven is the, the way to go. We can also use this QR code to connect a cell phone. So we have um, not the greatest signal, uh, it's perhaps this is a, our, our Wi-Fi isn't the best, but it is capable of transmitting from this unit, um, or actually we're going from the, the transmitter to multiple receivers, so we're watching it on our cell phone as well as the A5. And if we want to record, there's a button down here in the corner, or I've, I've programmed the function keys, uh, one of the function keys to do that. So when it starts recording, it'll put a little frame around the uh, image to indicate that it's recording. You can hear some audio, or you can see the audio, you can see the audio that you're hearing. Um, and then when we're ready to start, uh, stop the video, we can stop it. And then at the other end here is the play button, which will take us into review clips. So here uh, it will load up the clip that you just played. Um, I'm going to clap my hands. That's definitely video playing back, not me talking as it looks like I'm talking because that's what we recorded. And we can also uh, review a list of uh, other clips that we've recorded. And then um, I had promised that we would talk a little bit about um, functions. So there's, uh, there's three function keys across the top here. And I've set, you can set them up to, like, I've got number two is zebra. You can see the zebras um, show up or um, programming. So here's a list of different functions that you can assign it to. I'm going to leave it on recording. Uh, and there's other things in here like language, firmware, factory reset, um, settings for brightness, uh, volume of the unit, um, display settings, other, other things uh, that are important. And that's the Vaxxis A5 for you. It is an incredible tool with a lot of different features in it for working with either another A5 or with an Atom series product to give you a lot of different workflows for live production or post-production and cinema. And if you have any further questions about it, please feel free to reach out to us here at U.S. Broadcast. Thanks for watching.